we are we have a different system um, if we go to the first slide Basically, the evaluation function in FAO is, uh, is not decentralized. We manage our evaluations from headquarters, and we're here to present you the case of the project evaluations. Um, These project evaluations, which range from 35 to 40 evaluations per year, um, are managed by a team composed of one coordinator and two to three officers within the Office of Evaluation. We are around 20 people in our office. And, and these evaluations, basically, this team, we, they select an independent uh, evaluation team. And when in the process, we do include the participation of immediate stakeholders, and it's very heavy uh, in the de decentralized offices. So it's, not, it's managed by our team in, the, in headquarters, but then uh, the national and regional offices participate a lot. In, in providing information and, and support and guidance and logistics. Then we have, how do we decide which evaluations to carry out? We basically have a file policy uh, for financing project evaluations. And in this policy, which is quite recent, I think it was made a policy last year, um, we basically establish a threshold where we say all those projects with a budget over four million US dollars have to have an, uh, a mandatory independent evaluation. And all those projects with a budget below four million, it, it's case by case, and it depends on the interest of the stakeholders, or the donors, or and if they have budget provision for, for carrying out an evaluation. Then their reports, they are completely public. Once they're finalized, they're up uploaded in our web, the OED website, and they are shared at all levels. They're shared with uh, the government, the donors, the immediate stakeholders, and even like the FAO offices. And there are some, we can say some functions that are, are, not, com are not managed by us, but depend on the, descent, on the um, at a decentralized level, and these are, these are the management response and the follow-up report prepared uh, by the management. So in the project evaluation cases, we have the lead technical units, uh, the budget holder and lead technical units, who are completely accountable for the management response and the follow-up reports to this management response. Now when we talk of, of the quality assurance process, um, OED has a quality control system, which basically consists of two main things. We have the internal peer review within uh, our team. And we do this for the draft terms of reference and for the evaluation report. So this basically means we, we delegate one of our officers to do this review. And we also have the integration of gender equality. Uh, we have a guidance note in our website that we, we follow in order to make sure that the, the terms of reference and all the evaluation process um, integrates gender. There's, there's also, I think it was mentioned before, the, how the, the project evaluations or country evaluations can contribute to others. And this is what we're trying, there's a lot of linkage and harmonization with, with other evaluations. So for example, we do three types. We do the countries, the projects, and the thematic and strategic. So what we're trying, and we're trying to work more on this, is trying to make the projects feed into the countries and the countries feed into the strategic and thematic in order to have a, a, a database that can be used and, and take advantage of the resources that are being invested. This still, we need to coordinate it better, but we're working on it. Uh, the evaluation team, uh, how do we try to, to ensure the professional competences and independence? Basically, we have an evaluation team that is, if we go in, to look into the advantages and disadvantages of our system, this meaning the centralized system, we have as advantage that there's a better monitoring of evaluation process and visibility of the whole thing as a whole, because we have one team who are conducting everything, so it's very standardized. They, they follow the guidelines, and, and they have this greater visibility and ability to coordinate with the other teams within our evaluations office. This also translates into harmonized products and evaluations, because we all follow the same standards. And we do believe that this system allows for a greater independence and quality assurance versus the decentralized. And now when we move into the disadvantages, I think we put this one of um, a more cost. And this is something that has the question mark, because we're still a bit on, we haven't 
done the decentralized. So we, we still don't, we're not, we don't have it clear if the costs are higher when they are centralized or decentralized. And I think it would be for us useful to have your feedback on this, you that manage different, uh, two different approaches. We also believe that the, um, there's less ownership also in a, uh, from the government or the, the decentralized uh, units because we are the ones in the central office, we are the ones managing the process. So this is another issue that has to be taken care of. Um, also, there's less knowledge of the context and the country because we're, in, in a sense, we're so far away from, from the actual field or where the evaluation is taking place. And in a sense, you can counterbalance this. If you, for example, if we have an international consultant who has great experience in the topic or in the country, then you can counterbalance this lack of uh, knowledge. But it's still something that we have to, to be careful of. And also, um, there's a more difficult dissemination process in, in, in the sense that uh, as a centralized office, we can disseminate at a higher level, but then the dissemination of, to those in the countries or where the project is really taking place depends more on the, on the project team and uh, the, and the countries. Or, and, and in that sense, we do need to work on getting a, a better network. One more, it will, quick. And just on the way forward, we have three, three main points. We, we do stand on the fact that we want to keep the current structure for independence and quality assurance purposes. Um, and if we would move into a decentralized structure and function, I think this would be the, ma the main future, keeping that independence and quality assurance. We also, we're also working on systematically including the evaluation provisions at the project design stage, and this goes in line with what has been mentioned, of trying to, to have an evaluation culture since the beginning and the design of the project, and for people in the lead technical units to understand the importance of it and how their work in monitoring the, their progress is going to contribute to the evaluation. And we're also working on strengthening the linkages with national and regional evaluation networks. This will also support the dissemination process and also raising more awareness of, of the importance of evaluations as well.